Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to log on to UA Online and search for the classes that you need um, and look at all the possibilities for what you can register for next semester. Um, so first I'm going to go to uaonline.alaska.edu. Um, this is a pretty typical website um, for a lot of things for checking your financial aid or class schedule um, or things like direct deposit. Um, so I'm going to go here to log in where I'll enter my UA username and password that I've created. Once I log in, I will want to go to student services and account information. Um, I will then scroll down. Um, DegreeWorks is a really cool option here um, where you can look at um, basically the outline of your degree and what classes you have left to take. And so we can go into that first to figure out what we need to take. Um, you just click right here to redirect yourself. Um, and so what this will give you is an outline of what requirements have been completed, which ones are in progress, and which ones are still um, needed. So as you can see, most of mine have been met already. Um, I just need some upper division electives. Um, but say, for example, one of these boxes wasn't checked um, here, for example, library skills. I would look here, it's LSF 101, um, and that's how I would know what class I need to take. Um, so I'd need to fulfill this library skills requirement, and this is all the information on the class that we took. Um, so once I figured that out, I can go back from DegreeWorks. all the way back to registration and um, this is to register so I want to go to class search and this is where you figure out um, what the options are for your classes for the next semester so here I would want to click on spring 2017 for example um, that's the semester that's coming up um, this next box allows you to select which campus you would like to take the class from. Um, so there's all these different campuses. Um, down at the bottom you can select all campuses or all the UAA campuses, all the UAF campuses, um, and so forth. I, however, check the Fairbanks campus and the e-learning. Um, that gives me anything on UAF's campus and um, anything that's online through UAF. So that's typically what I check. Uh, if there's a keyword, you can enter a keyword. Um, here's where you can narrow down the type of course. Uh, if you want just in-class traditional courses, you can select this button here. Um, if you would like so that a uh, class that has both, you can select blended or just online at the e-learning. Uh, if you just want to leave it broad and see all of them, you can just leave it as all courses. Um, so here you can select the subject. So for most of my classes, it ends up being education. So I would select that. You can also select any other uh, degree or department that you would like, and it will separate it for you when you search. So I'm going to go ahead and search with two subjects. And so see, um, here we have early childhood education classes listed first. And so you can scroll down, it will give you the um, subject and the course number, also the, um, the title of the class, which is um, pertinent to you. Over here is the capacity of the class, actual students who are currently enrolled, and the remaining number of seats. Um, this is really important when you look at classes that fill up very quickly, um, because you can see before you even try to register if they're full or not already. This WL is the waitlist capacity, so that's the number of people that can get on the waitlist. And uh, this, the next column, WL actual, is the actual number of people on the waitlist. Um, so as you look further to the right, it will give you the instructor, um, the dates. Some classes don't last the entire semester, so this would be where you would check to see if it was a, a six-week class or... Um, or uh, maybe Saturday, just Saturdays for a few weeks, um, and then also where it's located.
So as you scroll down, they'll be numbered in order from smallest to largest. Um, as you see, these getting bigger. And then um, as you see, they've started the next subject here. And so those are separated, um, which is a really nice feature. So if you want more information on a class, um, so you just select one here. Uh, we'll kind of give you an idea of um, course pacing. Sometimes they're self-paced, um, whether or not they're scheduled meeting times, uh, number of credits. Um, this gives just gives a little information. Like for example, this class meets Mondays and Wednesdays via Google Hangouts um, as opposed to meeting in person. Um, this is kind of important to know. Um, when you're scheduling other classes, because this is listed as an online class, um, but you obviously don't want to schedule another class that would be in this time frame, um, because then you'd run into some time conflicts where you'd be in class and need to be online in another class. So uh, that's just something to check on before you register for your classes. Um, so this just gives you an idea of what classes um, you could possibly take. And that's really helpful when um, the classes have been uh, shown to us, but we're not allowed to register yet. Um, so in order to register classes, all you have to do is go to the register, um, add drop classes, um, and all you have to put in is the CRN number. Right now, um, obviously I'm blocked to register. Um, because they're sold to my account for athletics, so I can't show you the exact page um, that would come up. But that's essentially how you would look at the classes um, and complete your registration online, which is a skill that you definitely will need when attending UAS.